Boy, what a day. This is gorgeous. Think we'll see some bears? I hope so. Is this our dog team? Looks like it. How you doing? All right. <laughs> you ready to go? Yeah. Well, let's, we'll help you. It is now 18 minutes after. We're going to switch gears here for a moment. As we all know, polar bears live in and around the Arctic Ocean in some of the very, very coldest, coldest parts of the world. And that is where our friend Jack Hanna, director emeritus of the Columbus Zoo, recently hopped a dog sled and joined some researchers in the field as they went out looking for polar bears. Ooh, that looks cold. But today, Jack's hanging out with some of the bears in, of all places, Florida in Wild Arctic, a brand new SeaWorld exhibit. Good morning, Jack, how you doing? Good morning. Gosh, it looks like that polar bear was gonna walk right out there to get you. Oh, uh, I didn't see him back there yet. <laughs> it's five inches of glass here that separate me and the polar bear. Well, I'm glad to hear that since they do eat meat. <clears throat> but anyway, <laughs> how does the Wild Arctic exhibit compare to other kinds of exhibits for that kind of animal? Well, it's probably one of the most advanced zoological exhibits in the world, Joan. It covers four acres and over a million gallons of salt water cooled to about 50 degrees. And they have live fish in here. There are beluga whales, walrus. It's phenomenal. Uh, it's, you, you're just like you're in the Arctic when you stand here. It's nice and cool. And of course, the bears have it made back there. You can see how they swim. Tremendous swimmers, Joan. A lot of people don't re realize that. They're the largest uh, land carnivore in the world, and they're a marine mammal. Yeah, now that's, that surprised me as I started reading about these guys, that they're the largest land carnivore. I exactly. In other words, this animal can weigh up to 1,800 pounds or about twice the size of the female polar bear. You can see there the swimming. It's amazing. It's just like a ballet in motion. Those big feet act like fins, like you would you put on fins on your feet. And then, of course, it's snowshoes when they're walking on snow. But uh, they live basically in and around water. If it wasn't for the cold water, the polar bear couldn't survive because it's such a desolate area up there. So just how fast are they once they get on land? And in other words, how big a threat are they to people? Well, you'd have to have a big ice house put me in. I would never try and outrun a polar bear. Yeah. Uh, I mean, very, very fast. Uh, they can swim 75 to 100 miles in open ocean. And not only that, Joan, their they're hearing and eyesight is like ours, but they can smell up to 20 miles away. So, you know, if you're on the ice, you better have some fast dogs to get away. Yeah, I understand that they smell seals real good. Is that, what, what primarily do they eat? Well, it's mainly they eat seals. Uh, they can smell them so far off. They wait right above the, the little hole in the ice there. Oh, uh, and they'll wait patiently for hours. They're, they're really a hunting machine. Up there in the Arctic, you have to be to survive. So they spend all their time hunting, hunting, hunting. Once they eat, then they hunt more. Or they, if they can't find a seal, they eat the carcass of a whale. And if they have to, they go on land and hunt caribou and those types of animals. Now, that's interesting. You said in order to survive. How do they survive? I mean, you were up there, and you saw how desolate and how cold it was. How do these animals survive up there? Well, it's, you know, their skin is black, believe it or not, with the, with the white coat, a lot oh, really? of blubber to, yeah, a lot of blubber to keep them warm. I and mean, look at their ears. They're, there he is behind me again. <laughs> their ears are, are, are real, real small. That obviously keeps the heat in as well. And of course, they, uh, they don't hibernate. The females will go into to, to, to the den to have their babies sometime around November and come out in April. And the babies are born to the size of, a, they can fit in the palm of your hand about eight inches. And of course, they can grow to be 1,800 pounds. They're only eight inches long when they're born? Exactly. No hair. It looks like a, they can put it right in the palm of your hand. They, they, they keep them in the den until about April and then bring them out. So it's a, a sleep, not really a hibernation. Now, is this the only bear that doesn't hibernate? I thought all bears hibernated. Well, a lot of bears hibernate or it's a deep sleep is what really it is. Their kidneys shut down and they go in the dens and they sleep. Really, it's a deep sleep, not necessarily a hibernation. But the polar bear, no, uh, especially the males. They continue to hunt. And they, that's how they, they, they live is just hunting from area to area up there. So many of the other bears are endangered species. Species. Are these bears on the endangered species list? No, these bears are threatened, obviously, but up in that part of the world, human beings haven't, thank goodness, gone in there and, and uh, disturbed them. And, and here at SeaWorld, at this Arctic exhibit, they actually have educational stations here, here Joan, where the, the public actually becomes a researcher. They record what they see, they're seeing huh. on computers, That's and great. then we can find out more Gotta about them. Got to jump out here. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. We'll be back.